So I think the verdict is Supreme Court's been very ambivalent on this issue. Uh, at one time, I recall several years ago, Justice Kabir, we had gotten judgment from Justice Kabir saying that come back, come to this court, we'll finish, put a quietus to all matters. Then Supreme Court actually thereafter spoke with that voice and then there were discordant voices which said that uh, Supreme Court should not waive the statutory period. The statutory period of six months is sacrosanct. It's statutory and therefore Supreme Court won't waive it. Then the question was, can Supreme Court interfere under Article 142 and omnibus make orders with regard to closing domestic violence petition. And I recall in one of the cases where it was a very harsh case, Supreme Court told us, um, a bench of Justice Thakur and Justice Nariman told us that uh, go to the trial court in that case, it was the Rohini court, we'll abide and wait for the decision or the mutual consent because the Supreme Court felt they didn't want to interfere directly and we'll monitor it. So there have been voices of the Supreme Court saying 142 can't come where there is substantive justice to be done. But ultimately the last word on this seems to be this judgment at the moment because it is by a bench of five judges. And what it seems to say is this, that um, in case there is a irretrievable breakdown and somewhere they've taken a period of approximately six years. So it's just ballpark figure. There'll be harsh cases which, and according to me, cases of matrimony, the ballpark figure in its own way must be much earlier because ultimately, each day of a person's life is so valuable. At the same time, you don't want, and nor can all courts until parliament brings it, have a retrievable breakdown of marriage. So you have mutual consent, you have first and second motion. So one of the aspects Supreme Court has said is this six month period of waiting between first and second motion and Supreme Court said this earlier also. So we went from directory to mandatory to back to directory to saying once again by a constitution bench that this six months period is not sacrosanct, it can be waived. So this is one aspect where the judgment I think is very good. And so far as irretrievable breakdown is concerned, is not an inroad to say an irretrievable breakdown where both parties are not agreeing that one party comes and says it's irretrievable breakdown. So which is called no fault divorce by one party. Here it is that both parties come. Question was, can you do it in a TP, in a transfer petition? And the Supreme Court again said, you can in a transfer petition because again there was a view that a transfer petition is not a substantive petition before the court and the Supreme Court should not do it in a substantive, non-substantive petition. But now this is, seems to be the last word for the moment that even in a transfer petition, Supreme Court can in one go put a quietus, because very often the Supreme Court, when a TP comes to it, do the parties want to go for mediation? Do they want to go for settlement? Only if both parties are agreeable, does it refer it to mediation? So if it gets resolved, then Supreme Court will say, we'll put a quietus. There is litigation fatigue. And in India, there's a lot of litigation fatigue. Because while one or the other party which wants divorce has litigation fatigue, there is maintenance fatigue, there is child custody fatigue, 
there is just going to court day after day having the judges talk to you about mediation fitty i have known matrimonial cases where people have been sent by each judge that comes on the roster 10 times to go for mediation and you know that also in its own way is fatigue for a client because he some way he wants that okay we are not getting a settlement then let's have the matter decided one way or the other so in that sense supreme court this will be people will breathe a sigh of relief where they go in a petition whether substantive or a transfer and supreme court has also said you can't jump the queue you can't come directly in a article 32 you can't come directly in a 226 to the supreme court and say put a closure to it and refer it to mediation you have to come through the normal forum by exhausting your remedies or when you are moving a state to state transfer come in a transfer petition if matters get resolved supreme court will ensure that under article 142 it can possibly put a quietus to a matter where parties are agreeable parties are not agreed irretrievable breakdown that aspect the court has still to look at although parliament hasn't made it so in that sense there were judgments of the supreme court virtually talking of irretrievable breakdown like savitri pandey etc the court has said read down those judgments so it's really in a sense saying you have statutory right to go for a divorce on a fault ground on a no fault ground normally you would not bring irretrievable breakdown on one party say so but it can do it in certain cases where there is so much litigation and where you need to put quietus to a matter so let's see um it's good in the meantime i feel that we need far more matrimonial courts you need that at the level of a trial court a case should finish in 2 years you need that at the level of high court it should finish in 1 or 2 years so that a person knows their fate within 3 4 years one way or the other see every day in a person's life is important but this drags both parties through and i'm not saying they shouldn't go through litigation but at least it should be quick enough so that one way or the other they can no that this is our status and if they have to get a clean break then they should be able to get on with their lives